Indigo Arts Alliance um, supports all different disciplines of the arts, so the visual arts, the performing arts, and the writing arts. And so our artists are selected from a global pool of black and brown artists um, from around the world um, to come and be in residency here, but to also mentor a local black or brown artist. And that mentorship model is really key because it provides exposure for the, the artists that reside here um, at, at whatever level they are professionally. We're talking about professional emerging mid-career and high career artists across those disciplines. And even still, um, there's not enough of that kind of engagement. And so we wanted to broaden the opportunity for professional development, to help build professional networks, build meaningful, hopefully long-term personal relationships. And then simultaneously to offer back to our local community an opportunity to learn about artists beyond the ones that are typically um, positioned here um, historically. Um, and so it was a way to really be in reciprocity with the community, to, um, to share the thought leadership and the creativity of these black and brown artists. And what we've learned over the time, over um, almost four years now, is that the community is thrilled to have an opportunity to be exposed to and learn about these other voices um, and the visions that they offer, um, not only in their practice, but for our community at large. And the uh, artists that we work with, we really uh, emphasize that we want them to become a, uh, a, an integral part of the texture of our creative community here. Um, and we want, we want black and brown and indigenous artists to be part of that texture texture of the whole community and not a not an add-on you know not uh not a sometimes scene but uh but part of the whole mm -hmm. and that's critically important to our creative economy and that is really in essence um the core of the systems change work that we're doing here at indigo arts alliance mm -hmm.